Hey guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Red. Pokemon 1, or wow, 1 Pokemon Challenge. Anyway, we turn that down one more just cuz. And yeah, uh, in this episode we are going to be taking on, well, the gym. Dun dun. Stop right there, kid, you're still like your phone facing. Rock, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, this guy, if I remember correctly, his uh, critical hits are based on speed. And uh, his Diglett, well, Diglett actually has pretty decent speed. So, he could be troublesome. Yeah, that did a decent chunk. Well, he is one level higher than us, so I mean... Well, I think what I'm gonna do is just try and lower his attack. Oh, okay, what's up there, critical hit? So, if I get too low... If he, if he gets a crit now, I'm gonna be pissed. Alright. At least we're getting some HP back. Uh, I think... What I'm gonna do... Damn it, yeah, he's, he's a lot faster than us. I think I'm gonna potion right now. There we go. Ooh, exactly by 20. Pretty cool. Alright. Uh, he's not doing that much now, so I think I'm gonna start attacking, finally. Yeah, Leech Sheet is actually really helpful, and it's really gonna help me throughout this whole run. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be keeping it. And, uh, yeah, just, just that... A little bit of HP that they lose, and that like tiny bit that I gain, it it could be like life or death. So uh, it's really nice, and I really like it. So uh, I'm saying so loud. Oh, we finally hit a critical hit. Pretty awesome. Level eleven. I love like the level up music in this game. So yeah, I'm going to be spamming Leech Seed just about every... Oh no, don't do that to me, Sandshrew. Uh, accuracy. Oh, thank God that hit. Let's do this for now. Thank you. Thank you for failing. And we're getting back 2 HP instead of 1. I'll do that one more time. Oh, no, we failed. Alright, well, whatever. We're going to tackle now. If we can even hit, that is. And I think it's too bad with, like, missing and whatnot. Well, voice crack. Then I believe I'm going to uh, be speeding it up. -na -na. Yeah, if you have a uh, well, if Bulbasaur actually learns Vine Whip first, this gym is cake. Like I'm pretty sure you can one hit all of these Pokemon no matter what. And I think I might have to start speeding it up just because I'm missing so much. If I miss this tackle, yeah, speeding. Even though it doesn't look like it's going that much faster. Oh, you're kidding! Well, at least I'm like... You see, if I didn't have Leech Shit on him, I'd be so screwed. And why do I keep missing? Like, he only used it two or three times. Uh, are you serious? Okay, this is just, like, not even fun anymore. Okay, what the hell, man? How many times did he use Sand Attack? Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't more than three. Oh, uh, well, there's four. Or maybe even five. Who knows? He's just there. We go. Of course, of course, it does like a half of the damage. Okay, well, Leechie's gonna take him out this turn, and hopefully, we'll get another level up because I kind of want to fight Brock with the move with Vine. Frick! Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the uh, Pokemon Center. Pablo got money for winning, and uh, I'm gonna heal up. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and here is the big fight. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's... Well, I thought he was going to say Pewter City. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock-hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all rock-type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine, then. Show me your best. Dun... 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 dun. Brock? Well, he's not wearing a shirt, and he's crossing his arms like a loser. He could be straight edge, and in that case, we have to take him down. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't really have too much against straight edge people, except that some of them are so ignorant beyond belief. It just, it just boggles my mind. Anyway, yeah, Geodude's gonna raise his defense, but that's why we got Leech Seed. So I'm going to be speeding this battle up because I pretty much need the Leech Seed damage to uh, win. 
yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't have Vine Whip. Not really any trainers to uh, grind up on, and I don't want to grind up on wild Pokemon. So, as you can see, Tackle's doing just garbage. So, I actually might just do that just to get the extra damage. And I don't really like to speed up the battles, but I mean, if I have to because shit's taking forever, then I totally will. But yeah, even though we don't have a grass move, uh, Brock is very easy. I think that's because Venusaur has, like, decent defense. And Geodude doesn't have, like, a rock-type move. Not that it would even matter, because I think Bulbasaur resists that anyway. But, uh, if you had Charmander, you're gonna have a lot more trouble in this fight. Trust me. I love that part. I had to listen to it. Anyway, he's almost dead. I'd say maybe, like, one more tackle should do it because of the leech seed damage. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. He's gonna keep defense curling, so please, yes, can you get HP? And are we gonna do it? Yes, we're level 13, and please, baby. Yes, Vine Whip. Now just watch this. Okay, after he yells in my ear. I have to tell you something about Screech, too. Dead. One hit, baby. I love Bulbasaur. Anyway, when I was a little kid, probably like eight, because I, I was still <coughs> excuse me, uh, playing this game, I took you for granted as proof of your victory. Here's the boulder badge. Yeah, yeah, and it's an official Pokemon League badge. It's better be Pokemon becomes more powerful. The Technique Flash can now be used anytime. Wait, take this with you. I got TM34, which I will be selling to a mart because it's just completely useless. But when I was eight, I got I got Pokemon Red version when I was seven, and uh, I believe I was eight when this happened. I was fighting some kind of Pokemon. I do not remember which, but they kept. Oh wait, what am I doing? They kept using a uh, Screech, and I had my volume up all the way. And I don't know why, but like after like the fifth time, it gave me like the worst headache I've ever had in my life, and it was kind of miserable. But anyway, guys, uh, since we beat Brock, we can now venture... Hold on, how many Pokeballs do I have? Alright, 11. -na 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 -na. Moving so slow. Anyway, it's time to fight some trainers. Yes, now there's one trainer here that I will... Actually, there are three that I'll be uh, editing out, mostly because they are not required. Unless they are, in which then I will have to show them. But I don't, I don't, well, two of them definitely are, and one of them is maybe. So anyway, Vine Whip is not very effective against Pidgey, so that's why I'm just using Tackle. Even though it is Stab, Tackle does more damage. And you're kidding, you're sand attacking me. You're, please, thank you, that didn't hit. Oh, thank you, you didn't use it again. Okay, what, I missed, I missed three times because he hit it once. That's just, like, not even fucking fair. Oh, and he just, four times, let's stack him up. I think I actually might lose here. Oh, yeah, baby, six times. Oh, there we go. Please don't have another Pokemon. Oh, we're, we're so fucked. Ah! I'm just waiting for it. my accuracy won't go down anymore. No, I did not mean to do Vine Whip. Yeah, nothing happened because our accuracy won't go any lower. Oh, thank you. That critical hit was so needed. And if I get hit one more time, I'm going to have to heal. Yes! Thank you. Alright, awesome. Alright, trip back to Pokemon Center. Feedback. back. Okay, guys, we are back, but, um, there's one thing I do have to complain about, and I normally don't pick Venusaur for this reason, and that's because, well, I, I don't pick Bulbasaur for this reason, and that's because Venusaur's back sprite looks so disgusting that I really don't like using him that much, but, you know what, I can't really complain, 
because it's, I don't know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bulbasaur, I'd say, well, obviously, if you're doing a one Pokemon run, Bulbasaur is probably the best to choose. And I was going to say something else, but, oh, he's got a Weedle, and Weedle can't do anything to us because Poison Sting, we can't get poisoned, which is very nice. He can lower our speed some more, though. I actually don't know if, like, lowering your speed, like, through the string shot or anything like that, can actually, like, reduces your chance of getting a critical hit. Someone knows, and you tell me, thank you, because that's actually kind of cool. I'd like to know that. Let's see how much Fine Whip will do. Uh, uh, not very effective, so tackle? Maybe? They do about the same, so... I'll, do, I'll use Tackle because it has more PP. Yeah, Vine Rip only has 10, which is kind of bad, especially for this point in the game, because, well, obviously that's, like, the best Grass-type move, but, you know, whatever. Whatever! Can't do much about it now. And, it's, and this youngster wants to fight, and he's got a Rattata. How stock of you! And that little bastard knows Quick Attack, and that did actually a decent chunk, so not too worried. Ooh, Critical Hit! Thank you. Uh, I don't think that'll be very effective against Ekin, so I'm gonna leech seed him first. So yeah, guys, how are you? How are you? Uh, how are you all doing today? Cause, well, to be honest, I just woke up and I started recording, but today shouldn't be that bad. Cause I have to go to school, but it's the easy class. So I'm really happy about that. And then all weekend I get to work. But I shall be having a little fun time in there on Friday, hopefully. But, whatever. Whatever. Also, Wrath is a very annoying move in this game because it continuously attacks, but since we have Leech Seed up, every time it attacks, we get some HP back, which is really helpful and really awesome. Uh, that girl up <clears throat> in the top right, she's not required, so... And those two people on the bottom, actually. So, I will be editing them out, but I will be fighting them. So, I'm just letting you guys know. Now, as you guys probably know, I didn't pick Squirtle because once I got to Lieutenant Surge, I would be completely destroyed. And once I got to, uh, or if I picked Charmander, I couldn't really beat Brock. There'd just be, like, no possible way that I could. But, I think Bulbasaur, well, I think he would be the best. Just because by the time we get to the, a gym that uses Fire Pokemon, I don't think... Or, I, well, I'm pretty sure we'll be overleveled as hell by then. At least I hope so. And then, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I hope it won't be too bad. I mean, I'm sure I'll die a couple times, but who knows? I actually can't wait for that gym, because that's going to be one hell of a challenge. Also, the Elite Four is going to be a bitch and a half. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to that. First lady, I'm gonna just get destroyed. But anyway, Kakuna. <sighs> sorry. Ugh, sorry. Is being an annoying bitch like he always has been in the Viridian Forest and whatnot. And there's more Pokemon. Pretty sure this guy has a Metapod. And yes, I am speeding this up because. I don't know, like, I could go in, like, regular pace, but just for this part, I don't think it's, like, too, not helpful, but, I mean, I don't know how, I don't want the video to get too long. I want to keep these Pokemon videos around 15 minutes, maybe a little less, because you'd be surprised how fast you actually get shit done in, um, in Pokemon Red. Time actually goes by pretty slow. Ugh, my eyeball. <sighs> Sorry, I had an itch. And a yawn, because I just woke up. Anyway, we beat the bug catcher. Oh, Bubble Sword's evolving! So, E 
evolved into Ivysaur. Hell yeah! Stronger Pokemon. Alright, now I'm gonna fight this guy. And I'll fight the other two bitches. And then I will, um... Uh, our other three. But I'll cut those out. So, no worries. Mm, you know what? Let's get some HP back. Yeah, uh, the thing with the one Pokemon challenge is you really do have to think a lot more than you would in normal Pokemon, because... I mean, it's not like it's a Nuzlocke run where if your Pokemon die, you have to start over, but you only have one good Pokemon, and if that one dies, then, uh, you... If you have, like, your HM slaves in the party thing, then you just... You're... You're screwed, because they're too low-leveled, most likely, anyway, to, like, do anything. And I think that says that we have... Four tackles left? Oh my god! Um, Excuse me, how did I use that many? Oh well, I guess there were a lot of bug catchers, so Divine Whip wouldn't be that good, so I guess there's my answer. Ooh, not very that did oh yeah, well we just evolved, so Well guys, with that I will meet you back right here in just a second after I take on these three not necessary trainers, so just give me like two seconds. Uh, well guys, I'm actually back, but I thought there was two trainers, or three trainers, but there's actually two. Anyway, I'm gonna show this girl, because she actually does have a unique Pokemon. And, well, you can't really find it anywhere else but here, so... Yeah, she's got a Jigglypuff, which looks really dumb in this game, but I'm not gonna complain, because this game is just beautiful. For an 8-bit game, it's awesome. At least I think it, you're a dick. You're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick. I hate you, Jigglypuff. Oh, God. Sleep takes forever in this game. That did way too much damage for fucking Pound. I know it's Stab and whatnot, but Potion, Ivysaur. Pound, yeah. Great. You stupid bitch Pokemon. Alright, so that's three turns we were asleep. That's four turns we were asleep. That's five turns we were asleep. That's six turns we were asleep. Spamming the potions. Sorry, guys, but I don't know. This fight shouldn't be that fucking tough. And there we go. We finally got out of that. And our Vine Whip was disabled, but that's okay. We'll take you out with the tackle. A flying jump tackle. And with that, we grow to level 18. -da 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 and let's just check out uh, Ivysaur's stats. 30 all across the board except for special, which is 37. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's not the best. Hold on. It's not the best, but I mean... It's alright. And a couple more experience so he levels up. -da 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 and let's venture our way over here to get to the next part of the game. And he's not a trainer, so don't even bother. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to do, though. I am going to be needing uh, a certain amount of Pokemon soon. So I'm actually going to try and catch a couple. Okay, so you're being a bitch, and I'm just going to leech seed you. Get off some damage, you know it's probably only gonna do one damage at a time because you're a low level. Yes, it will. So, you know what? Screw that. We're just gonna go for the Pokeball again. Here we go! Pidgey was caught. Now, uh, the reason I'm catching Pokemon is because I like to get Flash. And I, uh, to get Flash, you need to catch a certain amount of Pokemon. So, actually, this guy. Hmm. Nope. I have a great deal for you. I just had this swell magic card for just 500. Yeah, let's get it. It's another Pokemon that we uh, have, so might as well. Anyway, guys, since we got to the end, uh, well, actually, you know what? No, hold on. I'll actually get into the area and then call it a video. With that, guys, we are in Mount Moon, and uh, I think that's enough for this episode. Ooh, item. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Red 1 Pokemon Challenge.